How's your day, champ? You look all tuckered out. Oh, I've been awake for hours, donating to NPR, doing taxes stuff, updating my cooking vlog, just like all the other functional adults, my peers. Not sure that functional adults live with their parents. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Nightmares that I'm Chandler from Friends. <laughs> Why do you always go for girls who still shop at Hot Topic? Why do you always go for arrogant weirdos who are mean to you? Hey, wanna be? Wanna be? Soft pass. Go get him, tiger. What's up? Ari Fish! Go tell Harry that I'm not exclusively attracted to assholes. Who's Harry? Harry is a new, more accurate nickname for Mel. I'm trying it out. Oh. Well, we made out once, Mel. Hardly enough to rewrite your entire romantic track record. Are you really the best boy I've ever kissed? Hands down. Speaking of, isn't that post-coital high-five guy? Yeah, this party is like a kaleidoscope of failed flings. The guy who called yogurt, Gert. The guy who quoted his own poems. The amateur arsonist. That one was more of an arrogant weirdo than an asshole. Is it just me, or is our alma mater woefully overrepresented here? You can never escape your past. Cool. Well, do you want anything from the bar? I'm gonna enter a spiral of toxic nostalgia now. Please don't spiral. Hey, is Harry gonna bang that post-emo white walker? Probably. I don't think I've ever seen a person more her type. I, however, am going to find the nicest guy at this bar and fall in love with him. Thus, proving that I've outgrown my addiction to jerks. Okay. Good luck on that inane quest. Thanks. Has anyone spied an eligible non-asshole at this bar? Preferably with unconventional good looks and a kind of downtrodden vibe. I think I saw that guy who started the Elliott Smith acapella group. Okay, Cupid. How we chillin'? Tony's a DJ. Slash freelance personal branding consultant. Millie makes comics. Slash unemployable. Hey, have you ever read Akira? Yeah. I caught that shit on Blu-ray with mad dope extras. We should smoke a blunt and watch it sometime. Ooh, the softest of passes. She looks like the Little Mermaid. But like, with all her parts. Sorry, oh god. You just never get tired of throwing yourself at me. Are you, like, summoned by my failure to have fun? You're like the Cheshire Cat of romantic despair. Alice in no Funderland. Ho, ho. Wait, that's it? No verbal abuse? No hair pulling? I thought there was someone new clinging to those few greasy strands of affection. Yeah, we're in love. Wanna go get 40s and listen to me complain about her? Haven't we been down that rabbit hole before? Not recently. I'm gonna have to give it a soft pass. Hey, it wasn't all bad. Don't remind me. What was that about? I can't believe that you, like, never really stop wanting to do things that are bad for you. You just get old and realize that being dysfunctional is not as cool as you originally thought it was. Let's bounce. Harry? Yeah, Mel? Do you ever hate me? 
We hate everyone. That's because they suck. Well, what if we're the ones who suck hair? We're incapable of having fun. We cannot pick suitable mates. We live with our parents. We're like sad babies with minors in gender studies. You think those people we make fun of are grown-ups? It's like they never graduated. No, but they've got jobs and apartments. They've got internships and benevolent parents. I would love to be independent again, but I'd hate to be caught between a shitty job and a windowless apartment under the expressway. We're not not growing up, Mill. We're just dragging our heels a little until we figure out exactly where we're going. Thanks for the pep talk, Dad. You got it, champ.